All right, Shalom, Shalom. First things first, I'm going to give all honor and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. We say Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. And we give double honors to our Apostle Elders, which the Apostle Elders is the great millstone, which feeds us with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Um, let's jump right into this video. As you see here on the screen, uh, this is uh, from GMS Watchman, uh, a beautiful, beautiful channel, beautiful brother, always uploading uh, videos. This is a video dealing with Nate. And uh, when I seen this video, it's just one of those. Uh, that's why the Lord said after the first and second admiration, he's a heated man. Um, because we're, you know, the starting with our apostles, the elders have been constantly going into what this mark is and uh, what, what it's going to entail. And in this video, Nate goes into showing uh, different Nigeria, because we were bringing that out. We were, because GMS is known for covering news stories, covering that economics, covering the the um, the changing of the money, the financial reset. We were the ones bringing that out with um, the World Economic Forum, with Kyle Swab and all them um, Edomites and rulers of the 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 world today, the nobles. And um, because what's going to happen once this dollar really changes to digital currency, there's going to be something else because how are you going to how are you going to be able to keep that that type of information safe because if it's a digital currency and it's tied to your account you'll have to keep that very safe just like now where they get you even have identity thefts so what they're going to do now is initially get the foundation because Esau is a he's a groomer if you if you look into the mentality of uh um pedophiles and different things like that uh what do they do they groom their victims they don't just come in do something to them out of nowhere. Um, the the sneaky conniving ones will groom their victims. Might give them a piece of candy, uh, uh, one day a toy, another day this, another day, and then to the next to the final, you know, the final sick thing that their that their um, the goal was the whole time. So we have to look at Esau as he he's attaching that to everything that he moves. He moves in the same vibration. So what is he doing? He's grooming the world for it. He's not gonna. He he already knows what he wants to do. But he's not going to do it all of a sudden. It's got to be a slow process, a slow, what they say, the boiling a, a frog. A frog won't hop out the water because it, you're, you're not turning the heat up that much. It's boiling it slow. OK, so I'm going to play this video and then I, I, I'm going to bring something out because the title is this. IUIC, did, did God give us the mark or the MOTB? All right, because if it's sin and, and, and sin is the, the mark and that's what's going to be preventing us from buying and selling we've had sin in us since the garden we've we've been went back to adam all right so let's go ahead and play this babylon the great read the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth i thought it was a microchip yeah. what the hell is going on here somebody just got body that's it all the foreigner abominations is straight up sin you're right. Hit the bomb. That's when you hit the bomb now. And then this, and then this, this, and, and we have to remember, IUIC prayed for the apostles and elders at their Passover. The apostles and elders haven't uh, 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 documented and put it on tape of us, of, of us praying for IUIC and Nate and the leadership. And, and, but they did that because they wanted to bring Kanai back in after what he did to the pocket. These are the things that are known. The, 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 there's been a death in, in IUIC. Different things have taken place. Uh, the pocket ain't even here with us no more. He's in the spirit world, man, at rest. But this man used praying for the apostles and elders because their congregation is so brain brainwashed, if you want to say that, that they know that, oh, snap, GMS is the worst. We're amongst them. We're like worse than Esau. You know, they, they, they treat us like that. We, don't, we, we haven't hung you on trees. We haven't whipped your back. We're not oppressing you. Esau is active out here. But they think what all we're trying to do is warn, warn you. That's what your, the Lord said. Knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We're persuading you, Jakes, because we're getting you prepared for this. Worst case scenario, if you ain't prepared, guess what? You're going to crumble, man. So now you got to see it's a fear factor if the Lord doesn't want you to get it. That means that he wants you to fall under that under that slippery slope, man. Because the most high said it says that there'll be evil in the city and the Lord has not done it. These are the things we got to look at, man. We're telling IUIC out of care 
and 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 knowing the Lord told us to go and give them warning from him. These are what the elites want to do. It's not us. These are what the elites, it was it slipped out. This is their plan. And now we can see it come into fruition because now there's a digital age coming where you that that technology is on a high level because everything I, I do in distribution, everything is ran off RFID. They they track trillions of uh, if not hundreds of trillions of products throughout the world. That was the dry run to see how it's easily trackable and to see where this goes. We, I, I, I can tell you that distribution is such on a high level. You even know the person that touched that distribution product through the RFID technology. They can trace it back to who touched it, who put it in a box. They can go all the way back. To track the whole life of that product, that lifespan of that product. So the same thing, those were on many dry runs, the lifespan of some meat, lifespan of a, of, of a box of cereal from, from birth to, to, to the uh, last bit of its journey. They can track that. So that's what been dry, they've been tracking. Now they, they have the technology to track every human without no problem, man, through that RFID technology, man. All right. So let's go ahead and play this. It's crazy you brought that out because I just heard them bums just put a video. And we're bums. You're a bum. You're 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 in, you're in slavery. I don't care how much money you have. You're you're in slavery right along with us. If Esau wanted to start uh, Jack and Jake up like slavery, guess what? You'd be in a cotton field too, no matter what job you got, man. So to call us bums. That's what it says. You, you, they look down on us, man. It says that's what the in the ancient world they called the uh, the apostles unlearned men. They were it was it was they looked at the apostles and, and the disciples as nothings. The Sanhedrin. They said, "Who is this new?" They didn't want to. They wanted to do something to Yahusha, but they feared the people, just like IUIC. They doing it for that people, that their their congregation. They're trying to please them. They're not pleasing the Lord. Because they don't feel like they're getting something from the Lord, man. They might feel like, oh, yeah, we're in. No, the, the Lord is warning the people of what's coming because the Most High is bringing this. It's not Esau. Esau, because what did he say? I, 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 I lifted up Pharaoh so I may show my power in him, man. All right. I'm saying that you came out on the horse to distract people from the microchip. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, Jay think it's a joke, man. Why don't you address the fact of Yahweh Shah came out on a donkey, but he's coming out on a horse, proud, man, on the Pesach, which is a representation of Yahweh Shah's sacrifice. So why would you come in on a horse on a, on a day that's set to commemorate Yahweh Shah's sacrifice as our Passover lamb on a horse? That's, that, it, it, you're elevating yourself on the Lord's day. That's a Lord to commemorate and to say, call halal, Yahweh Shem Shai, for sending your son to come and be our reconciliation, man. That's what Passover is about, man. It's about the, the Yahweh Shai coming and being our Passover lamb and keeping us safe, man. Because guess what? He's coming again in Egypt. Okay? So I ain't going to play too much of that. Uh, let's get right into the, um, let's get right into the main the main uh, uh, precept right here. This is the book of Romans. This is Romans because I, I, I'm, I'm asking that if, if it's sin, how did sin enter into to men? The Most High had it done like that. If you go back in the time of Adam and Eve, what did, that was already set up. If you look at the, look at the serpent, all everything was set up to come to here. Because if we never went off, how could Yahweh Shah be fulfill his name as the deliverer? How could all how could we have a following fallen away first? If we didn't fall away, how did the word word of the Lord come to pass? It says there must be a falling away first. So if there's a falling away, where do we falling away from? Grace. We're falling away from our state. And if that has to happen, that means the Lord prophesied of us going into sin. See, this is Romans 8 and verse 20. It says, For the creature, what was the creature? Man. Starting with you Israelites, because that's where the law comes, where the law is given to. But that's going to transcend unto the whole world once the kingdom of heaven is established, which you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And it says, for the creature was made subject to vanity. 
for the creature, what's we, what we know as vanity goes into sin. If you see the, the, the breakdown, because what is what is really cursing us? Sin. He that wandereth out the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by the reason of him who has subject the same in hope. And who's the him? The most high, man. Because it says who has resisted his will. Who has who has not done what the most high wanted us to do, man? See, and then look at the precepts. Now, let's look at the precepts for Romans 8 and 20. And look what it's going into. Romans 8 and 22. For we know that the whole creature creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. What is the pain? Sin. It's not just chilling. Because if there's, it says where there's no law, there is no sin. So the world is groaning in anguish because it's going against the law, statutes, and commandments that the Lord has set up. Because if that, if you're under the laws and you're doing what you're supposed to, you're going to be blessed. That's what the that's what the scriptures tell us. That's what Deuteronomy the 28th chapter is telling us. We follow the law, we get the blessings. We we break the law, we receive the curses. See? And it says, verse, this is Genesis 3 and 17. And unto Adam, because this is what I said earlier, it goes all the way back to uh, uh, um, the garden. And unto Adam, he said, because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife. And what was the voice of the wife? Going into what? That the, the different uh, philosophies, the doctrines that was at that time. It wasn't no apple. You biting an apple and then y'all, we're all done. No, it's not even going into that, man. But it says, and unto Adam, he said, because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, thou shalt not eat of it, cursed. What comes with curses? That's the same thing we fast going to Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. When we say what you hear, I lay before you life and death. Choose life. Moses said, for me and my house, we shall follow the Lord, man. So we're in a time where, guess what? We are off. We're, we're waiting for our change. What's the change of our bodies where we will not sin because this flesh, this current flesh is corrupted. That's why it says flesh and blood shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. So we have sin dwelling in us. So how is that the mark? Or how is that, how is that going to be able to be the mark of the beast when sin has already been in us since the garden, man? He said, oh, Adam, if you read the Apocrypha, oh, Adam, what hast thou done? So, so how is that? How, how, how is sin something that's going to be received by the mark? The, the beast did not make sin. The beast did not originate sin in man. The beast wasn't even around at that time. So how could it be the mark, uh, the M-O-T-B? The M to the O to the T to the B. <laughs> and it says, and unto Adam, he said, because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife and hast eaten of the tree and which I have commanded thee, saying, thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow thou shalt eat of it all the days of thy life. See that? The same thing if you read Deuteronomy 28 chapter. Cursed be in the field, cursed be in the city. These are the things that the Lord cursed, okay? And it says, thorns also and thistles shall bring forth up a city, and thou shalt eat the herbs of the field. Going into what? Going into that dietary. Going to us having to go into uh, 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 till the ground. Because prior to that, how was the, it, was, it was a garden. It was un, it, we didn't need to do anything to it. It, 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 it was self-sufficient, okay? Let's jump down here. This is Genesis 5 and 29. And he called his name Noah, saying, The same shall comfort us concerning our work and toil of our hands, because the ground which the Lord has cursed. See, and the earth was changed after Noah. The earth had a, 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 a drastic change. Um, this is the book of Job 12 and verse 6. It says, The tabernacles of robbers prosper, and they provoke, it says, And they that provoke Yahweh are secure. And this is, and when I read this, this is for IUIC, man. Because you provoking the Lord because you have to understand we're coming because the Lord has given us, has breathed the inspiration in us to go into this and to know that guess what? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Yasha, we know that that's what this is because the technology is here. The technology is, is here. It's in our face. How, it, how can we ignore when they're, they're saying the money change? Because the Lord pre-warned us of this thing because the most high is making them do it, man. But they think we're trying to do it because it's a, it's a, it's a, it says some preach the Yahweh Shah for contention and strife. Because if you under, if they understand the MOTB and they, and it is the, is, is the C hip, 
you, your congregation can stay there. The apostles and elders don't want your congregation, man. That's what Nate is. And Nate's trying to be right so his congregation can keep him in that, in that prestigious look of, oh, the wise teacher. Okay, you, 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 could, you could be a teacher, keep your congregation, but warn them of the wolf. You're a shepherd. You're supposed to shepherd your flock. If the Lord gave, the, what did Yahweh Shah say? Them that thou has given me. Even Yahweh Shah said, if they don't gather against me, let them, let, them do that, let them do their thing, man. So the apostles and elders aren't getting your congregation if the sea hip is true. But them, they don't want to lose no L for the perception of man. Because the apostles and elders, starting with uh, Apostle Elder Tar, will tell you if, if there's something wrong, he'll fix it. Because he's not looking for men's eyes, he's looking for the eyes of the Lord. That's what's kept the man in the truth longer than some of us have been alive on the earth. It's not by his flesh alone. It's the spirit, man. There's no people don't do things on the earth because guess what? If let's say in Esau's ways, the apostles and elders would be doctors and masters of their craft. Anyone that's done something for 30 years, they're a master of their craft. They even in professors, they call them tenured. That means that they always have a job. Until they're pretty much they're done. They can't function because they're highly trained because of their experience. That's the apostles and elders right now have a doctorate plus in, in their field. If anywhere in the world you have that many years, you, you're highly paid or highly sought after because of your experience, man. Nate knows, Nate knows that, that, that uh, he learned from these men, was under the uh, uh, apostle elder Tahar, man. But he won't tell his congregation that, though, because why? He's a shit. He's he does not want any kind of good light shine because he feels that he's going to lose. That's like the Sadducees and Pharisees. They felt that they were going to lose their position if they gave it to Yahweh Shai. If Yahweh Shai was found to be the Messiah, they felt that they were going to lose their position with Rome because the Yahweh Shai was coming in the spirit of the Most High. It wasn't coming in the spirit of Rome, man. So they got that you had to, you in the back of the bus. You ain't ruling no more. Because guess what? Yahweh Shah would assume the position which he was blessed with, which is the head of the church. So you see how everything is repeating itself because that's why the Lord said, they don't hate you, they hate me. That's why it says, be not afraid of their looks and their words. Are they not calling us bums? They would fit that, that criteria of talking about us. We, don't, we tell you, don't go on a horse. Teach your congregation right and let them stay there, man. Personally, I don't... That energy is weird, man. It, it reminds me of a church energy. And I can tell it without not being in that room with none of them, man. It's a very churchy energy. That's it. That's all I'm going to tell. That's all I'm going to say there. I'm not saying it to, to try to uh, uh, offend. I'm not trying to do it to but I'm, I'm telling you. That's the energy that comes from that. And we, especially uh, uh, amongst the brotherhood, have taken ourselves away from that, man. That that and that vibration of, of the church like 501c3 is there. That's a vibration that's over that church because they have to watch their they have to watch what they say or they will fall under the, the, the punishment of the, the uh, of not that tax exemption being taken away. And I'm sure there's penalties that come with that. Because you under Esau's you under you under the, pretty much the Roman rule at this time. Same thing that the, the, the Sanhedrin and the, and the temple was under, Rome. That's where you had Herod. You had the, you had the uh, establishment of that Edomite uh, uh, energy there, man, that was watching over Jay. So we're in that time now because guess what? The, we were made subject unto vanity, unto sin. So sin has always been something we've been dealing with. But this says the M-O-T-B, the beast was not the originator of sin. The beast wasn't around. The beast wasn't formulated yet. We've been dealing with sin for generations. So how is that going to be the mark of the beast? Because the beast would have to be the one to, to give you that. To, to, it's his mark. He said he's going to give life unto that image, man. And sin has already been active in our lives and in, our, in this story prior to that, man. So how can that be it? See? Job 12 and 6. And I'm going to close out. The tabernacle of robbers prosper and they that provoke Yahweh. And let's look at that word provoke. See, because somebody's provoking the Lord right now, man. Somebody's provoking the Lord. And the word there is ragazah. 
Ra 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 If I'm pronouncing that right, let's let this play. Strong's H seventy two sixty four. Ragaz. Ragaz. It says, uh, "Tremble, quake, rage, quiver. Be acquainted. Be excited. To be uh, perturbed. Perturbed. Okay, to be perturbed." To quake, to disquiet, to be excited, to be perturbed, to cause to quake, to disquiet, to enrage. So you enraging. It says the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. And the wicked is the same thing that you have a contract with. Think about that. And then you're trying to uh, uh, disnounce and pretty much support his system coming up by saying that it's, it's sin. No, because you got to point it out. You got to call a spade a spade. If a spade is a spade, then that's what it is, because that's what you're because guess what? This in danger of someone taking it, not knowing, being ignorant. That's why we have known sins and unknown sins, man. All right. So, Lord, I just wanted to ask that quick question, go into a couple of precepts and make that point, man. And uh, uh, it, it definitely cannot be sin because we've been dealing with sin for generations. And this is the M to the O to the T to the B. So the B would have to originate this 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 marky mark. This Mark Walburn, okay? All right, so Lord willing, said a fine lesson. I'm going to leave it there. And with that, I say, call Holoyim, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Bahashem, And I say this that the Lord is preparing us, man. Uh, he's preparing us. The, the economy is on a crash. So, what are these guys going to do? Because they, they ain't even going to have the YouTube to, to, to be able to try to apologize, man. All right? Because everybody's going to have to be left. Everyone, everyone, every man must go on this scale. This is the scale of judgment, man. You want to, you want to, and the uh, other end is Yahweh Shai as the, as the, as the guide way. That's why it says be, be, per, uh, strive for, for, per, for perfection. And it says that we have the mind of Yahweh Shai. We have the mind of the Lord, man. All right. To, to, to stay our way and uh, to stay ourselves on the path and to learn. Because guess what? This is mercy because the Lord is warning us of a, of a devilish plot, man. All right. So with that, I say call Halloween Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakwadash until the next time. And more now than ever, keep faith. Shalom.